Jim is gone. He's gone. I miss him so much. Oh, I cry myself to sleep, Jim. False. I do not miss him. Welcome back to our channel, where we take a nostalgic journey through the lives and careers of some of your favorite stars. Today we're diving into the world of The Office and catching up with the iconic cast members to see what they've been up to since the show wrapped up. From Steve Carroll's evolution to John Krasinski's action-packed roles, we've got it all covered. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back, and let's jump right in. Steve Carroll as Michael Scott. doesn't know anything about property ownership. This friend of mine, their son Dylan. Steve Carroll, known for his role as the former head of Dunder Mifflin in the first seven seasons of The Office, has evolved into one of Hollywood's most beloved actors. Beyond his comedic talents, he ventured into dramatic roles with notable performances in films like Foxcatcher, earning his first Academy Award nomination in 2014, Beautiful Boy, and Welcome to Marwin in 2018. His television credits include Apple TV Plus's The Morning Show, Netflix's Space Force, and FX's The Patient. Additionally, Carol voiced the iconic villain Gru in the Despicable Me film franchise and its Minion spin-offs. For his work on The Office, he received nine Emmy nominations as both producer and actor, and in 2020 earned another nomination for his role as Mitch Kessler on The Morning Show. Carol has been married to actress Nancy Walls since 1995, and they've got two children together. John Krasinski has Jim Halpert. Which means that my job is to... Always right. Thank you. <laughs> John Krasinski, known for his dorky boy-next-door image during his time on The Office, transformed into a sex symbol and took on the role of CIA analyst Jack Ryan in the prime video revival of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan from 2018 onwards. He also delved into dramatic film roles in works like 13 Hours, Detroit, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and contributed his voice to animated movies including Monsters University and DC League of Super Pets. Krasinski's personal life is equally charming, having married actress Emily Blunt in 2010, with whom he had two daughters. Beyond acting, he's excelled as a director and producer helming the horror film franchise A Quiet Place and A Quiet Place Part 2 alongside Blunt. He also earned three Emmy nominations for producing the series Lip Sync Battle. Jenna Fisher as Pam Beasley. I hope they get rid of me. Cause then I might actually get off my ass. Little robot is two things. No scooping. Jenna Fisher, beloved for her role as the receptionist on The Office, transitioned to starring alongside Oliver Hudson in the successful ABC sitcom Splitting Up Together in 2018. She also made appearances in films like Brad Status and The 1517 to Paris after the show ended. Alongside fellow co-star Angela Kinsey, Fisher co-hosted the popular podcast Office Ladies, dedicated to all things The Office. Previously, Fisher was married to writer and director James Gunn, with whom she parted ways in 2007 after over six years together. Since 2010, she's been married to screenwriter Lee Kirk, with their wedding officiated by Survivor host Jeff Probst. The couple has two children, a son named Weston Lee and a daughter named Harper Marie. Rain Wilson as Dwight Schrute. I just want to be careful that Dwight is not just this like... I love to collect fan art that people will hand me. Rain Wilson, widely recognized for his portrayal of the neurotic office worker and beat farmer Dwight Schrute, continued his acting career after The Office. He made guest appearances on various series, including Star Trek Discovery, Room 104, Transparent, and The Rookie, and had reoccurring roles on Mom, and the lead role in the Amazon Prime Video sci-fi series Utopia. Additionally, he lent his voice to Superman's arch-nemesis Lex Luthor in numerous animated projects. Wilson has been married to writer Holiday Reinhorn since 1995, and the couples had a son named Walter McKenzie together. Ed Helms as Andy Bernard. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. You know, thankfully, like, we've got great doctors. Ed Helms, known for his role as the Cornell graduate on The Office, achieved box office success in the Hangover trilogy, where he showcased his impressive singing skills. Following The Office finale, he starred in a variety of films, from comedies like Vacation and Tag to dramas such as Chappaquiddick. 
In 2021, Helms co-created and starred in the Peacock sitcom Rutherford Falls. While Helms is married and has a daughter, he's chosen not to publicly disclose his wife and daughter's names. BJ Novak. I'm I'm very happy to be back. I've been talking to lots. I've been talking to lots of people who. I did, I did a very nerdy uh, version of Rebellion. B.J. Novak, initially a writer on the sitcom who transitioned to an on-screen role as the sleazy office temp, has maintained a dual career in acting and writing since his time on The Office. He received five Emmy nominations as a producer for the show. In 2014, he released a collection of short stories titled One More Thing: Stories and Other Stories. Novak also took on supporting roles in films like Saving Mr. Banks, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and The Founder, and he wrote, directed, and starred in the 2022 comedy film Vengeance. Notably, Novak shares a close friendship with former The Office co-star Mindy Kaling. Mindy Kaling as Kelly Kapoor. I've always been run out and enjoy the rain. Mindy Kaling, like her friend BJ Novak, transitioned from the writer's room to her prominent on-screen role on The Office, where she played the beloved customer service agent. Following her time on The Office, Kaylee starred in the sitcom The Mindy Project and took on a creative role, creating Netflix comedies such as Champions, Never Have I Ever, and The Sex Lives of College Girls for HBO Max. Her instantly recognizable voice was featured in animated films like Wreck-It Ralph, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, Inside Out, and Velma. And she made appearances in A Wrinkle in Time, Ocean's 8, and Late Night. Kaling is a mother of two, with BJ Novak serving as the godfather to her daughter Catherine Swati and son Spencer Avu. Angela Kinsey as Angela Martin. What am I? Naomi Judd. Southern, and I'm not super confrontational. Angela Kinsley, known for her role as the petite, cat-loving accountant on The Office, made a guest appearance on Splitting Up Together in 2018, alongside Fisher before they launched their podcast. She has also guest starred on shows like New Girl, Fresh Off the Boat, The Real O'Neills, and AP Bio, and starred in the Netflix series Haters Back Off. Kinsey appeared in Netflix films Tall Girl and Tall Girl 2, and served as a guest panelist on MTV's Deliciousness. In 2016, she married actor and baker Joshua Snyder, having previously been married to writer and producer Warren Lieberstein, with whom she shares a daughter. Ellie Kemper as Erin Hannon. Sexual innuendo! So excited! <laughs> Ellie Kemper, known for her cheerful disposition as the temporary receptionist on The Office, continued her infectious energy in her role as the titular character on Netflix's Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, earning two Emmy nominations for her performance over the show's four seasons. In 2012, she reunited with her former co-star Mindy Kaling on The Mindy Project, appearing as Heather in three episodes. Kemper also made appearances on the big screen in films like Sex Tape and Home Sweet Home Alone. She's lent her voice to animated characters in movies such as The Secret Life of Pets and its 2019 sequel, The Lego Batman Movie, and Smurfs The Lost Village. The actress is a mother of two children with her husband, Michael Coleman. If you found this video as fascinating as we did, don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like button if you're a fan of The Office and its amazing cast. Help us spread the word by sharing this video with your friends and fellow fans. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories from the world of entertainment. Stay tuned for our next episode, and let's keep the memories alive together.